Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to take a look at Helidon MP. So uh, what is Helidon? It's a micro profile in Java SE uh, runtime or more uh, library or toolkit. And I would like to start today with the micro profile version. So um, Helidon suggests to use a Maven archetype to get started. So let's do this. And the only thing I would like to change is, is to change the project name. So it should result in a shorter name. So and uh, it takes a while because the architect has archetype has to pull the resources from Maven Central, and um, so now I would like to open an editor here. And um, so let's take a look first at the build system. So it comes with POM, and uh, it's eighty-seven lines of code, not code of configuration of XML. So logs or uh, yeah logs lines uh, lines of X, uh, XML. And uh, if we delete the uh, outdated, because there's no 2020 copyright notice, I would just delete that. It is even shorter. So um, it's, uh, 70 lines of uh, XML. What's unusual is the uh, quick start MP main. So um, obviously, there should, probably there is a class main. And uh, this class is interesting because uh, it is a main method. So it's an executable method. And uh, the Helidon runtime or server runtime is started here. So um, why it's interesting, because now you have the opportunity to do something before and afterwards. So you can embed Helidon into your uh, existing uh, Java process. Um, this is also, um, you can um, um, configure logging in Helidon using the stock log manager and the uh, log configuration ships here. And Helidon, Helidon also ships with MicroProfile config, and they are Helidon specific configuration as well as application configuration. Now, uh, bin 6 ml also stock with, uh, it works like uh, outside, it is based on Weld. So um, now, application. There is a JAXRS application. It's a, uh, uh, we needed to expose the resources similar to Jakarta E. What's a little bit surprising, you have to annotate the JAXRS resource with a annotation, application scoped. So um, it's a little bit different to stock uh, Jakarta E or Java E runtimes like Whitefly, Payara, Open Liberty, Tommy. And uh, the grid resource exposes the um, path grid. It ships with uh, helpful curls. So we can just um, invoke the, uh, the uh, just copy and paste the command and invoke the resource. What's a little bit unusual for a starter project is uh, constructor injection because it results in more code. So, um, but we can just change it and, ma and make it a little bit, bit more Java-istic and this would look like that. So we could just inject this and remove that. So the constructor injection is not necessary. So it also works in this way. And also the, I would say this, uh, the Java docs comments for the methods comes with, I would say just a very little added value, right? So I would just also get rid of them. So this would be shorter. Now the uh, the so we have the resource and we have the provider provider's application scoped and gets injected uh, the uh, config property and this config property could be of course also extra uh, factored out into 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 private fields so we can remove the the constructor. Okay, so um, this was the uh, source code perspective. This is react the reactive service is not a micro profile, so I would just like to skip it for now. So now let's build the system. So um, Maven package, Maven package, uh, Maven clean install works of course as well. So uh, let's do this first and uh, now the project is built and tested and uh, the uh, tests are also available and the uh, there is a main test method and the uh, interesting part is Helidon uses a JAXRS client for testing, which is actually great because this is we can absolutely reuse done. We can reuse the uh, the code here as a stub for another microservice. And uh, what we see here, what Helidon does, it puts the server here, which is uh, a nice use case to, uh, for a toolkit because we can just uh, reuse the main method here in the test. By the way, uh, to take a look back on the POMXML, uh, Helidon ships, so we took a look at the main class and uh, this dependency comprises all the microprofile dependencies. We have jersey dependencies for uh, JSON media. 
for JSON B uh, support, Gendex probably for faster builds uh, and activation. And uh, this is, was the uh, test dependency. And the uh, plugins here, Maven plugins are necessary uh, for custom build, which uh, we will see right now. So why custom? The unusual thing is if you go to target and take a look what happened is um, we see that Helidon comes with 13 kilobyte, which is uh, very small. And the reason for that is because everything else is in a lib folder, which is really great because uh, Helidon comes with strict separation between infrastructure and business logic. So we can ship all the infrastructure dependencies once to the private registry to the cloud and daily, or uh, I would build several times the Helidon jar, which is just the business logic and just push that and uh, Docker recognizes the, the diffs. Or we'll just push the layers we changed. In our case, will be just the, the uh, lowest layer or the uppermost layer called Helidon. So let's start the Helidon. So Java minus jar Helidon. So now it uh, starts in uh, 1.8 seconds. So uh, And now I could just try to see whether it works. I think there was a... There's the greet resource, which works. There was a suggestion that that should also should also work with Joe. Works. Now, uh, more interesting is, are the metrics available? Microprofile metrics, they are. Are application metrics unavailable? They are not. There are no uh, application-specific metrics, so we could add them, would work. Then, um, is the health available? It is. Is the new health available? Is, it also is, so we have uh, live and ready probes. And uh, the last thing which is interesting is the open API. And it's also av available. So um, thank you for watching and see you at upcoming conferences, air hacks, or uh, even projects. So thank you and bye.